They're the greatest murder mysteries of all time. Devastation on an epic scale. It's not just killing a bunch of individuals, it's killing every individual in the species that makes that species extinct. Five times in the distant past, mass extinctions wiped out most of life on Earth. The question that's provoked every biologist is, what the heck happened? But how do you solve a mystery when the trail of evidence is tens of millions of years old? From China to Siberia. From Italy to the North Dakota Badlands. Scientists are reading the clues. And what they're finding will amaze you. Well, you can see the end of the one world and the beginning of the next one. They're filling in the details of what happened to the dinosaurs. We live in a shooting gallery. There are thousands of asteroids crossing the Earth's orbit. Turn your oven on broil, open the door, put your hand into the glow bar. That's what the dinosaurs felt, and they were probably broiled alive within an hour or so. Even the greatest mass extinction of all time is giving up its secrets. It happened over 250 million years ago. But scientists are finally cracking the case with exclusive access to breaking science. We'll show you the evidence. Zircon is absolutely a little time capsule, and if we can find those zircons in a rock, we've got a great chance of knowing when that rock crystallized from a melt. We have two events in Earth history, both short duration, exactly the same age. It doesn't get any better in terms of finding the smoking gun. And now we face what may be the biggest mystery. What can this evidence from the past tell us about our world today? Are we facing a sixth extinction? We're not there yet, but we have put together conditions in more or less the perfect storm. The clues are in the oceans, in the air, even in the forests. Last time I was here, this was a dense green forest with a cacophony of sound. If environmental change is great enough, fast enough, and on a global scale, the entire planet is in trouble. <laughs> 